Good morning. It's the 30th of April, 2020. My name is Mark Pesci. Welcome to the next 100 seconds. We've taken a look at some of the horizons as they're growing for us personally, as they're growing for us for nations. We now need to take a look at the horizon as it's growing for medicine, specifically as it comes to treatment of COVID-19. For most of the time, the horizon there has been around 30 hours. It's been emergency-based medicine, basically about keeping people alive, keeping them off ventilators, keeping them alive when they're on ventilators, guiding them through the course of an illness that we still don't really understand because it's still so very new. But now we can start to see that horizon line coming down somewhat. We can start to see out a little bit further. We're starting to see the results of research, and research takes time. It doesn't happen instantly. So we now have remdesivir as the possible first treatment for COVID-19. It seems to work. Maybe not all that great, but it seems to be better than nothing at all. So that becomes the baseline by which other treatments are going to be judged. There seems to be some correlation between vitamin D levels in the body and whether a person ends up in ICU. So that will merit further investigation. We seem to be seeing some progress toward vaccines. Again, Every one of these things in their own way is taking a look at the longer term, is lowering that horizon of predictability so that if someone gets sick, if someone gets an illness, we can treat that illness, that it doesn't just necessarily evolve into something that becomes eventually fatal in the wrong circumstances. And this is what's happening globally. So as we're all working on widening our horizons personally and establishing our trajectory personally, the entire planet is now working on understanding the virus how to treat it, and how to beat it. And that's 100 seconds.